There's a quote out there by Earl Nightingale, we become what we think about. So the three tips that I have, and there's a boatload of them, but these three are very simple and it's something that you can put into practice today. Number one, there's no better way to fuel your brain with the, with the appropriate positive thoughts that you need than waking up and starting your day with gratitude. I want you to think about that. When your eyes pop open in the morning, what are your initial thoughts? Do you have some ants right there like, oh man, I'm tired. Oh man, that damn alarm, it's going off too early. It's dark, it's cold. Or what if this, what if your eyes popped open and you said, thank you. Thank you for another day. What if your eyes popped open and you said, today is gonna be an amazing day. And you put a big old smile on your face. You're thinking there's no way that's gonna happen. You're right, initially it's probably not. It's gonna feel a little weird, but if you made that into a habit, that's a game changer right there. The second thing I would recommend you do is speaking in superlatives. For those of you who have kids, this is actually fun. This is phenomenal. I have a six and a five-year-old, both daughters. There's nothing more rewarding than hearing your kids speak back to you, saying, hey, how was your day? You know, the typical answer people are gonna say, especially kids, good, it was good. Well, what was so good about it? When I ask my girls, hey, how was your day? They're like, dad, it was incredible. Oh my goodness, it was amazing. It was phenomenal. And I'm thinking, really? What, was, what the heck was so good about today? Point being is this, if you change your vocabulary and you start speaking with energy and enthusiasm, people are gonna respond differently to you. You attract what you put out there. So you start speaking like amazing, phenomenal, incredible, miraculous, rather than just good. That's gonna come back to you. And it, it's very rewarding and it's a great way to retrain this brain into thinking differently, into thinking positively. And then lastly, the third way that I would do is affirmations. So for those of you who I refer to as negative ninnies, again, it's okay. I was a negative ninny once, I know what that's like. This is gonna be extremely uncomfortable for you. And what I mean by that, this is actually gonna be your daily challenge it's going to be to create a list of affirmations. I want you to write them down. You are going to make a list of a minimum of 10 I am statements. And what I mean by that, because you're, ans you're asking yourself the question, in order to achieve my desired outcome, what would my new beliefs need to be? I want you to picture yourself as a person you would need to become in order to live the life that you're after. So let's throw out some examples for you. I am a leader, I am powerful, I am healthy, I am fit, I am rich, I have more money than I know what to do with. I am the best husband in the world, I am an amazing parent, I am phenomenal at what I do professionally. Those are examples of I am statements. Now I'm warning you folks, if you've never done this before, this gets uncomfortable. In fact, you start trying to write these down, it's almost like you're lying to yourself. You're gonna get this feeling deep down, like, man, I feel like I'm lying to yourself. And that's okay, you don't have to believe it right now. This is the point of rewiring your brain. You're gonna retrain yourself, because the reality is this, you are all those things. It's those limiting beliefs that are keeping you from becoming the person you know you're capable of. 